Hello, my name is Margarita Watkins and I will be demonstrating how to assess resting blood pressure. This slide demonstrates the stethoscope and its labeled parts. This next slide shows the labeled parts of the blood pressure cuff. 30 minutes prior to the assessment, individuals must abstain from caffeine uptake and cigarette smoking. Individuals must remain seated for five minutes prior to the assessment with their feet flat on the ground with palms up and arms supported on a surface at heart level. Their backs must be firm against the chair. Make sure these stethoscope's earpieces are not facing towards you but away from you. This fist right here is called the diaphragm. There are markers inside the bladder that demonstrate both size and proper alignment. Palpate the area to find the brachial artery pulse. Ensure that no garment obstructs the area. To establish accuracy, the cuff utilized must be the right size for the individual. This entails that 80% of the upper arm must be enveloped by the bladder inside the cuff. The majority of the adult population require the adult cuff. Tap on the diaphragm to ensure that it's on. If no sound is heard, hold the stem and twist the diaphragm to turn it on. The stethoscope chest piece must be placed over the brachial artery below the antecubital space. Do not place fingers on the chest piece for this can yield inaccurate readings. Ensure that the air release valve is turned all the way to the right before pumping the inflation bulb. The cuff pressure must be inflated quickly to 20 millimeters of mercury above the first cortical sound if blood pressure is known or to 200 millimeters of mercury. Release the pressure slowly at a rate of 2 to 5 millimeters of mercury per second by turning the inflation bulb to the left. Carefully monitor the aneroid manometer. Systolic blood pressure is the moment in which the initial two or more cortical sounds are heard, also known as phase one. The disappearance of the cortical sound is the diastolic blood pressure, also known as phase five. A minimum of one minute apart should be taken between two measurements and the average calculated. This table illustrates the classification of resting blood pressure for adults. The client tested in this video is classified as pre-hypertensive. Thank you for watching on how to assess resting blood pressure.